we are back. Hey, hellos. We're back with some more Mario Kart, and um, I just want to bring this up in case some of you guys were curious. Because I know last time I mentioned, like, I smoked weed a little bit over the weekend, and I acted kind of loopy in the last video, I felt like, but, like, I just want to make it clear. I was not, I did not, because I, I recorded that video on Sunday, and the same thing with this video, so, like, this is, these are back-to-back -back recordings. I did not smoke at all today. Um, I was just acting loopy because I was just exhausted. So, that's how I get through tiredness with, with loopiness. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to get cancer or that kind of shit, but I figure maybe some people might have been curious, so I just thought I'd let you guys know. <laughs> And again, I don't mind talking about like my weed use. I mean, it's not gonna get me into any kind of legal trouble unless it's like under like specific circumstances. But like, I'm not really like in any of that kind of situation. So, yeah. Spiny Cup next. I'm gonna do the car first. I mean, we, I already know we're doing Funky Kong first, but like, yeah, I just feel like doing the car first. Also, I forgot to say in the last video, but like, my family is current. Well, just my mom and my brother, they're walking football out there, so. Yeah. Where is the car that I fucking want? Oh, I passed it. I just wanted to go around again just in case. Again, I know the handling stat is shit, but I should be allowed to use a car just because it looks cool. Sometimes it's not about the statistics, it's about the statistics. Yeah, let's go with that. My ankle itches. Yeah, and these are back to back recordings, so now I'm extra exa exhausted. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I just realized I didn't use the horn at all last time. But the time I, but the one time I used it, it was on the stupid Funky Kong horn. I'm sorry, but that horn is shit. Wait. Turdy has churros. That's something I learned a little while ago that I didn't even know was up there. I'm not worried about getting last place. This is a hundred. This is a hundred CC. Like I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna catch up. Like see, I'm. Al I'm already up at fourth place again. It's fine. <laughs> Like, like, see, it doesn't matter. It, it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> but, like, I'm surprised I didn't notice that because I had a running gag of, like, talking about, like, churros and shit. Even though I don't even eat that many churros in my normal life. I've always just thought it was funny. And then, of course, in the last tour track, there was a, there's a churro shop right there. Which I didn't know that when I first played, but then after playing it a few times... Now, I don't remember if it was, like, during a video session or if it was because I was playing with some of my friends. But, yeah, it was around, it was one of those two occasions is when I first noticed it. And I was like, shit. Wiggler. 
but also just like the music for this. The soundtrack, the, the, the Hispanic vibes are definitely there. But yeah, this, this track is really... I mean, I knew it was going to be in the game anyway, because like, I feel like every single tour track being in the booster core path and the inevitability. But yeah, I, I like I, I like that this is the one that, that they chose for the Spiny Cup. It definitely has some pizzazz. I was going to kill a Goomba. Or I will let the Goomba kill me. That works too. Man, I just feel like Deep Down kind of sucks, because, like, Super Mario RPG has already been out, and I really want to try that, but at the same time, I still haven't even beat Wonder yet, because I'm still trying to do content for that, and I have so many other ideas I want to fucking do, but I know I'm not going to be able to get to them all in time, yada, yada, yada. Just one thing after another, I don't know. But as long as, as, long as you guys personally enjoy the content that I'm putting out, then, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm just sitting here, chilling, doing what I like. What I, like. I have a bunch of plans in mind. I know I'm going to get to them eventually. But as long as you guys are currently liking the content that I'm putting out at the moment, then, then it's just in my fucking head and I got nothing to worry about. Again, one of my favorite content creators on Alpha Red. He explained that the whole concept of like content creating it should be like a Venn diagram. There's there's the content people want to see, the content you like want you want to make, and then there's everything in the middle. The bottom line is, as long as you try to stay close to that middle portion as possible, you can keep your fan base happy. And you can keep yourself happy because you know you're pleasing your fans while also being able to do the type of content you want to make. And I guess that's kind of why I like laid off of doing like Overwatch content and stuff like that. Not necessarily because I don't like Overwatch. I mean, I haven't played in a while, but like Overwatch is a good game, but it's just like... I don't know. Like... I guess no, it's like what, no other two times, like outside me, like just trying to like do it for the first time. I, it wasn't really that enjoyable otherwise. And I figure something like that, I feel like it's best enjoyed when I'm playing with other people and not trying to be in, in front of the camera, you know? I might do another Overwatch video sometime in the future, but like, to try to do shit like that regularly, it's just, I don't know how I can manage. Because then at that point, I'm just doing something that I've don't really want to do, but yet I feel like I have to do it for an obligation, like, my content should not have to be an obligation, you know, like, I should be able to do what I want to do, whenever the fuck I want to do it, that's just the way it should be, so going back to Super Mario RPG then, if you guys like that game, then great, but just understand that I might not be able to get to it right now, I probably won't even get to it before the end of this year. And that's fine. But I want to get to it eventually. It's just going to take time. That's just the way it's got to be.
I kind of like moments like this, because obviously, like, this is easy as shit. So now it just gives me an excuse to just, like, get semi-vulnerable for a moment, just about, like, the whole, like, creative process and stuff like that, so... This is nice. Because I don't gotta focus too hard. Oh, it's, it's not a big deal, man. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Rosalina's Ice World, like, weird pick, but I like it. Mario Galaxy references are great. Ice is great. Rosalina, great. Slay, all that shit. Next. <sighs> Some people might find my personality boring, and I'm just like, good for you. You're not obligated to stay. Obviously, some people think my personality is too boring. Like, that is something I'm always willing to change. But, like I said, you're also not obligated to stay and watch. You're your own human being. You can do whatever the fuck you want. That being said, I am happy the... Constructive criticism. I do like the fact they brought this map in the game. I figured, like, either this or GBA Bowser Castle 3, like, either way, it would have been nice. But even though I've never played on this map, I am happy they brought back this one specifically, because I did see what this looked like in Tor, and I just thought to myself, oh yeah, like, they can, they can, de this will definitely translate well as a Mario Kart 8 track. And you know what? I'm glad I wasn't wrong, because, like, this translates perfectly, and I mean, come on. A Bowser Castle track being part of the last Boozer Course pack, cup, or whatever, like, it just made too much sense. But then the realization always hits me that, like, there isn't any other Bowser track in the whole game. There's the one, there's Bowser, there's the, there's the Mario Kart 8 Bowser City, of course, and this, that's it. And I'm not counting Neo Bowser City, because, like, that's, that's not, a, that's not a Bowser Castle track. I don't, I don't want to count that. Also, I want to bring this up, because I thought this was the only appearance outside of Super Circuit, but it was, but apparently this was also in Super Circuit. Wait, no, I, I got the names mixed up. I thought that this was the only appearance outside of Super Mario Kart, but this was also in Super Circuit. That's kind of another thing I want to bring up, because I remember playing on Sky Garden. One of the first tracks that came out for the Boozer Course Pass. And then I was looking at, like, videos of, like, and I'm sure you guys have seen it before, right? Like, comparing new, comparing retro tracks to, like, the previous appearances. And I did not know until... A few weeks ago, that Sky Garden was also a Mario Kart DS. I didn't know that at first. But then when I saw the clip, I'm like, oh shit, that's what that was? I remember that now. And so I, I don't know. I kind of found that out, like, obviously, like, too late. But, like, it's just a cool thing that I've learned. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Can we just move on? <laughs> Next race. <sighs> I'm an embarrassment, I know. You don't gotta tell me that. Now this one. If any of you guys try telling me that we Rainbow Road is not the best Rainbow Road, I mean, I'm not saying, like, I won't entirely disagree, depending on what your perspective is, but, like, you are not going to tell me that this is not one of the best Rainbow Roads of all time. I would say the only other good ones I can think of that match this one is probably Mario Kart 7, Rainbow Road, 
and the one from the N64, especially with the new one that kind of goes hard. I don't want to speak on Double Dash or DS because I honestly don't remember that one. But if you have your opinion, I respect it. Also, I don't care what anybody says. Like, I, I like that the fact that they added that meteor detail. I like that. I like that reference. Now, if one of you guys tries, tries to tell me, like, well, I don't know. I think the Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road is way better than any Rainbow Road they've added in this game since then. If you're that type of person, then please leave. <laughs> just, just unsubscribe and leave. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just my honest opinion. Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road is not a good Rainbow Road. It's not. That one can burn in hell. I don't care. Even with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, when they add a Rainbow Road to the title screen, they use the N64 one. They didn't even try to use the, the Rainbow Road that was designed for this specific game. Because I feel like they know. That one is not as good. <laughs> I'm not saying I've ever met a person who tried to say Mario Kart Rainbow Row is like the best thing since sliced bread, but like... I just have a feeling those people exist. And I don't like it. Now look, people can make their arguments that there are better Rainbow Rows than this. And I respect that. However, out of all the Rainbow Roads that will ever exist, which at this point obviously there's like eight of them, this has to be in the top five, if not the top three, for most people. That's just my opinion. Like, I feel like this has to be at least in the top five Rainbow Roads, if you're ever bringing up that kind of discussion. <laughs> The music track is dope. Some people think it's too chaotic because of the wavy nature of it, but that's why I like it. I liked it on the Wii. I liked the remake. And of course in the new version, like, they have it all in anti-gravity, which I like. I don't necessarily like the fact that I die, but I do like the fact that they added the meteor effect when you fall off the map. Again, it's just little things like that, you know? I'm just trying to say that this, if, if I'm talking to somebody and we're talking about like the best Rainbow Road tracks of all time, I am not excluding this from the conversation because god damn it, this is, if not number one for me, it has to be top three. <laughs> And I stand by that. <laughs> Any Rainbow Road that comes after this is not gonna... It's not gonna, like, remove that opinion. Like, I stand by that no matter how many Rainbow Roads come after this. Hi, right, Puddles. Where are we, Rainbow Road family? But anyway, we won. I wonder if they're going to do the credits thing all over again. I don't know. Yeah, I know they did that with 50cc, so... You know what, I, I think I wasn't even asking about that the one time. Because I was just like, is this, are they going to do this every single time? I... Yeah. Love you too. But yeah, I wasn't even asking that but last time. I was like, are they going to do this every single time I beat the Spiny Cup on NHPC? And I guess like sooner or later we're going to have a answer. <laughs> and of course, like, obviously the fact that the last cup for the Booster Court Fat is the Spiny Cup, like, like, why wouldn't you use that? It just makes sense. Well, this is my question. <laughs> yeah, 
You know, Barbie really wants to skip this, but... I mean, it's catchy, so... I also just like the fact that we now have every single Star Cup track from Wii in this game. Because where, where did the Star Trek go from Wii? It was Daisy Circuit, Maple Tree Way, There's the Tokyo Blur theme, Grumble Volcano, yes, that one, but what was the other one? Fuck. That's the one I always forget. It always slips my mind. There's Ninja Hideaway theme, hell yeah. Fuck. Grumble Volcano's the last one, I know that. It's not World's Gold Mine, is it? Maybe it is, and I'm just stupid. It probably is World's Gold Mine now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Berlin by a way, hell yeah. That's definitely one of the best tour track themes in the game. For tour track specifically. It just sounds like a full on orchestra. The Singapore Speedway one also goes hard. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking up the thing real quick, because, like, I, I can't help but be curious. Link! Oh, no, that's not Link. You know, I mean, Link was there, but not anymore. Because here's the thing, obviously the other cars are not like that, because, like, when we look at Mario Kart, we... Nitro Tracks. Just the Nitro Tracks. Close enough. My tablet is still a slow piece of shit. There's Birdo. Uh huh. There we go. There we go. Okay, so for like, yeah, because obviously, so from the Mushroom Cup, right, for Wii, the only one that were, the only two that were, the only two that were turned was Moo Moo Meadows and then Mushroom Gorge for the Booster Course Pass, and then the Flower Cup, oh, the other two from Mushroom Cup, by the way, it was Luigi, Serpent, and Toast Factory, which, which, R.I.P., like, R.I.P., I wish they would have brought that one back, but oh well, um, Flower Cup, Oh no, Warriors Gold Mine was in the Flower Cup. Never mind, I'm stupid. Coconut Mall, DK Summit, and Warriors Gold Mine. So, one in the Booster Course Pass, one for the Mario Kart 8 main DLC, and then. No, two from. Two of them are of the Booster Course Pass, actually, because Warriors Gold Mine, that was in Mario Kart 8, but I don't think that appeared until, like, the first batch of DLC. And then Coconut Mall, DK Summit came later with the Booster Course Pass. Yeah, we have the entire Star Cup right here. Day Circuit, it was Koopa Cave, that was the only one I forgot. Maple Treeway and Grown Volcano. One in the main game and the three booster course pass one. And then the only one from the special cup we have is Moonview Highway and Rainbow Road, both via the booster course pass. And the other one, the other two are Dry Dry Ruins and Bowser's Castle for the Wii. I just couldn't help but be curious about that. <laughs> But yeah, that was the other one for the Star Cup. It was Koopa Cape. Damn. I appreciate you guys for putting up with my bullshit. Well, we have fun, right, Puddles? Yeah. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Mario Kart video. I don't know what kind of video I'm doing after this, but I'm sure I'll make it fun. But yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.
Take care.